Hello and welcome to my channel. If you wish to learn about your stimulus check as such as where it is, when you're going to get paid and how much it's going to be, as well as the details of the stimulus packages and proposals that are out there and the political games and agendas, then you have come to the correct station. Because that is what I do is I like to enlighten and educate my viewers because they are very important. And like I said, we are all in this together. So we got to stick together. So basically on with our show today, the greatest news that we've actually, that I revealed to you was yesterday when I said how about the problem solvers caucus came out with a new stimulus package known as the March to common ground act. This problem solvers caucus is a combination of 50 Republicans and 50 Democrats coming together to solve the stimulus problem. Well, apparently, from what I understand, a few hours after it came out, Speaker and Leader of the House Nancy Pelosi shot it down. And if you've been watching the news today, you saw that she was speaking about a stimulus package yet again. This information is, is also not is very relevant as well, because the, the reason why I think she shot the other one down is because Donald Trump also tweeted yesterday that he wants the Republicans to go for higher numbers on their stimulus package. Well, basically, I got a sender that as actually says that is this hard. This going to be hard to make it so the Republicans pass that because the higher numbers, unless what's in the stimulus package is actually relevant and needed for the American people. In fact, I will put that right up here for you, so you can actually read it. And then also, Nancy said, like I said, Nancy Pelosi was happy about that because that actually vindicated her right to stand at the $2.2 trillion mark for her stimulus package. I do not know what's in her stimulus package yet because that information was not revealed because basically I think the Senate shot down. I think it's still the same thing that things the Heroes Act, but it's just been cut down by $1.2 trillion to $2.2 trillion. <coughs> But she thinks she's vindicated and is staying at the $2.2 trillion, even though the current stimulus package on the, on the table is a $1.5 trillion stimulus package. That do, does have automatic trigger clauses in case the COVID-19 situation and hospitalizations get worse. And those, some of those trigger clauses actually jack up the, the $1.25 trillion stimulus package to a $2 trillion stimulus package because... It adds $500 billion. And if the situation stay worse, basically the people will get a third stimulus check in March sometime of 2021. <coughs> and let's see here. But when, we, when Donald Trump said Republicans go with higher numbers, what did he mean? Well, I have... White House Press Secretary Kavi McNanny, <laughs> that's right, you're right, McNanny, <laughs> interesting name, explaining that for you. So if you'll please stick with me, I'll be right back. Thank you. Thanks. Um, the president said on Twitter today that Republicans should go for a much higher number when it comes to the stimulus. What did he mean by that exactly? And has he spoken to Senator McConnell or uh, Speaker Pelosi about what number? Yeah, so um, what the president was referring to was the $500 billion bill that uh, passed the Senate, um, the phase four plan. Um, that didn't include, excuse me, it did not, it got 50 votes in the Senate. Um, it's that $500 billion skinny proposal, but it didn't include direct payments. So he wants more than the $500 billion, and he is very keen to see these direct stimulus payments. And we hope that uh, Nancy Pelosi will work with us in good faith. Um, there are many bipartisan proposals out there uh, that have merit. Um, and a clear example of where Nancy stands is that everyone um, wants to be in, in D.C., seems to want to make a deal except Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi. She wants to play politics. Look at the letter um, she wrote condemning the problem solvers group proposal. That was a $1.5 trillion plan uh, that if the priorities were modified and made sure that there was not bailout that bailed out states um, that didn't have COVID related issues um, that just were blanket bailouts to blue states. Uh, that's something that we would entertain and look at. But Nancy Pelosi immediately uh, decried that proposal in a letter. And as you saw from the video, she what she said to the President Trump remit was that he, the Republicans, should add a should have added a stimulus check on top of their skinny bill that didn't pass the Senate in the first place, but they should have put a stimulus check on there. 
And as as I've been enlightening you guys know, their skinny bill was a six hundred and fifty billion dollar bill that would have repurposed money from other sources, including other stimulus packages. So basically, the total out of cost pa for that package would have been only three hundred million dollars because they would have taken three hundred and fifty dollars billion dollars out of the CARES Act and other unused sources to repurpose the money for that that bill alone. They said that bill did not pass. I think it was like what fifty-two to forty-eight for nays and yays <laughs> the Senate, and so that's why the Problem Solvers Caucus has, has done the one point five trillion dollar bill with the on my trade clauses, and said Nancy Pelosi either shot that down or she decided to reconsider and make, put it back on the table because that's the current one on the table. But she does believe that she is vindicated by Donald Trump saying Republicans go higher number, higher numbers. And basically, um, I'll put a message from Pelosi right up here talking about that as well, from, about what Donald Trump said to the Republicans. And as far as unemployment data came in today, and we have had 860,000 new cases of people applying for unemployment for the very first time. And that's actually better than it was the week before. That was at 916,000. So we have basically dropped 56,000 new people applying for unemployment. So I hope our situation does get a lot better. Even though reports I've read says say that we are expected to have a 400,000 plus death toll by the end of this year because COVID-19 is going to run rampant in fall and in winter. I am hoping those estimates are very wrong because every life matters. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are. Your life matters. No, I'm not BLM. I'm not the Bureau of Land Management. I mean, black lives matter. I am and all lives matter. It doesn't matter your skin color or where you come from, or anything like that. But that's a topic for a different day. And as you know, the CDC director, Robert Redfield, said that there would be a vaccine available in mid-2021. Well, Donald Trump came right back at him and said that uh, he was actually confused and that there will be a vaccine out by the end of this year. Well, why they why Robert Redfield said there wouldn't be a vaccine out until mid next year is because most companies have actually stopped their clinical trials because they have come across a unforeseen side effect to the vaccine that affects the spinal column. Unfortunately, I do not have information of how it affects the spinal column, but as soon as I get this information, I'll be more than happy to reveal it to you guys so you know whether you should take the vaccine or not. And also on other news, major companies, large-scale major companies, have basically talked about doing a large, a wide-scale layoff of their employees. Some of these companies involve Marriott, the major airlines, and Under Armour. As well as, Amazon has also said that they will be hiring more than 100,000 new employees in the near future. So let's see which comes first and if they can equal each other out or if Amazon can actually hire all the people that get fired. No, that'd be great. But this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. As of this day, September 17th, 2020. You guys have an excellent Thursday and a wonderful night. Please stay safe out there and stay sheltered and try to put food in your stomachs if you can. Because we're all in this together, and what the government is doing is a bunch of crap. So I'm pulling for every single one of you guys, because you guys are magnificent viewers. Thank you. And have an excellent night. Bye.